In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Olive and June manicure set. And before we start, we just have to admire how cute their shipping packages are. I was so excited when this showed up on my doorstep. So I discovered Olive and June last year at Target, and they are a seven free, non-toxic, clean nail polish company, which I absolutely love and their nail polish stays on for so long. It's like a gel-like consistency, and I just love it so much. It is the best nail polish I have ever used. I decided to get their manicure set after I started following them on Instagram. So if you follow their account, they're always doing live videos and trainings on how to get the perfect manicure at home. And in all of their videos, they are referencing this manicure set. So I finally pulled the trigger and purchased it and it is such a good deal and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So like I said, I have already been using Olive and June, so I have a few of their colors already. And I've also used their nail art stickers a ton. I love these so much. They're so fun to just dress up a boring manicure. And I ended up getting the heart stickers for Valentine's Day, which is tomorrow. So I thought it would be fun in this video to do a little nail tutorial following all of their steps and making it Valentine's themed. So I'm going to be using these stickers. And when I purchased the kit, they were running a sale and I was able to get the hand serum for free. And then I also added on their nail primer. So they say that you do not need a primer with their nail polish formula, but it is supposed to extend the life of your manicure. So I'm very excited to try this out. And in the kit, you also get an acetone-free nail polish remover pot. If you are someone who uses cotton balls to remove your nail polish, you know the struggle of painting your nails and running over like a little string or a little piece of fuzz that you didn't see before and it completely ruins your manicure. So this pot, um, you actually just stick your nail inside of it and yeah, it just has like this little foam piece inside um, with the nail polish remover. So you just like stick your finger in and rub it around. So I'm very excited to have this. So all of their packaging is just so beautiful and pink is my favorite color. So I absolutely love this little box. And when you open it up, it has this little sheet inside that says beautiful nails for everyone and in their videos on instagram they're always using this to like paint um, their nails so you could use this to protect like your table or whatever you are painting your nails on and they also send you a little instruction sheet so like i said they have perfected the at-home manicure and they give you all of these different steps to make sure that your manicure lasts a long time so i have not been following those steps um, previously when i have been using their nail polish and it has still lasted me almost a whole week so I'm really excited to follow their steps and hopefully get an even longer lasting manicure. So yeah, this is just your guide um, explaining all of the different steps here. This kit is seriously such a good deal. I will pop the price up on the screen here so I don't say the wrong thing. but. You get to choose six different colors and you actually get to choose all of those colors. It's not like a pre-picked six color situation that they set up for you. You get to choose your colors, which I love. So I actually went through their Instagram account and picked out all of my favorite manicures and they always tag the colors um, that the person is wearing. So that's how I would recommend picking out um, the colors that you choose because it can be a little tricky to um, determine what the color actually looks like on the computer screen or on your phone screen. So I'll show you the colors that I chose. So I picked JM, which is this really pretty pink color. Fierce and Loving, which is like a purplish pink color. EC, which is a peachy nude. CCT, which is a pinky nude. 
MM, which is more of a brown colored nude. And I also picked out Cosmic, which is this beautiful, sheer, sparkly color. And you also get their super glossy top coat, which I have heard such good things about. A lot of people will use this even on top of other brands of nail polish, not just Olive and June because it's so good. It's supposed to really make your manicure last for a very long time. And at Olive and June in their videos, they recommend applying this every two to three days to really protect your manicure. Now you also get this pouch with all of your tools for your manicure and this is called the Poppy and it's Olive and June's like signature product and the purpose of it is to help paint your non-dominant hand more easily. So I'll show you how you do this. So you take um, the top cover of the nail polish bottle off. So you should be able to just pull it off like that. And then you have to make sure that the brush is laying flat. So you line that up and then you take the poppy and you just push it on to the cap. And then you just have more to grip to paint your nails. So I am really excited to try this. Now in my manicure today, I'm planning to do like each nail a different color. So I don't think I'll use this um, because that could be a little annoying to take it on and off of every single bottle. Um, but I will try to do at least one nail with my non-dominant hand to see if I think that it helps. I'm not sure if these dry drops came in the kit or if I added these on. Like I said, when I purchased this kit, they were running tons of sales. So yeah, I'm not sure. I know the hand serum I got for free. And then I, I either got the primer or the dry drops for free or I got them on sale. I'm not exactly sure. So you'll have to look to see exactly what comes in the kit if you decide to purchase it but the dry drops are supposed to make your nails dry, I think within 60 seconds. So it just says to apply one to two drops per nail after you apply the top coat. So I'm really hopeful that these work because that is the worst part of painting your nails is waiting for them to dry. You also get this cuticle serum, which they also recommend applying this every day around your cuticles and I think that this is supposed to keep your manicure looking really shiny and it's also supposed to help with getting um, those little like hang nails around the sides of your nails which I really struggle with so I really hope that this product works for me and they also sent a little nail file and a buffer so I will show you how to use these in the tutorial after this unboxing these nail clippers i'm so excited to try because they send a flat edge nail clipper in the kit and the nail clippers that i have all of them have like a rounded edge so it kind of forces you into a rounded shape of your nail but because these are flat you can really have more control over how you shape your nails and they also sent a little cleanup brush, which I love because I am always getting nail polish like along the edge of my fingers. And so this is perfect. They recommend you just dip it into the remover pot and then clean up the sides of your nails. And in their videos, they always refer to this tube as the sleeping bag. And then this little part covering the brush as the pillow and they recommend that you keep it in this packaging to like protect um, the little brush hairs so they don't like go crazy. So I just think that that is so cute. Their videos are so funny. Okay, something else that's just really cute about their packaging is inside it says a shelfie for your selfie and it says that this is a phone booth so they have a little slot here and i think the idea is that you put your phone in here so then you can set this up as you're painting your nails and like watch 
um, Netflix or a YouTube video or like FaceTime a friend and I just think that's really creative and I will probably use that. Okay, so now let's get into the manicure. Okay, so this is what we are starting with for the before. And one thing that I wanted to know is they recommend not cutting your cuticles and what they recommend doing instead is whenever you're in the hot steamy shower to just push your cuticles back like this. So I've been doing that and I feel like it actually is working to train my cuticles to stay back here. So I already did that last night in the shower. So now I just need to go in and cut my nails. So they recommend doing this part while you still have polish on because even though my polish is starting to chip so you can see the whites of my nails, they say it's easier to shape them when you have polish on because most people have uneven whites of their nails. I know I definitely do. So if you follow that, you can actually make your nails look like crooked or whatever. So yeah, they recommend cutting them while you still have polish on. So I'm going to go do that and I'm not going to film it so that my gross nails aren't like flying everywhere and you don't have to see that. So I'll go trim my nails and then I'll be right back. Okay, I just cut my nails and I do like my nails to be pretty short. So I just cut them straight across and then I tried to kind of round out the edges a little bit. I'm not the best at shaping my nails. So that's something I definitely need to work on, but they recommend cutting like 90% of the way and then filing the last 10%. And they also recommend to file in the same direction so instead of like going back and forth like this that can cause like peeling of your nails so they recommend just going in one direction and just smoothing out the edges so I'm going to do that now okay now it's time to try out the nail polish remover pot so let's see how this works Wow, that came right off. Wow, I am very impressed. This is coming off very easily. Okay, I will say, even though this is an acetone-free nail polish remover, the smell of this is very, very strong. So just something to be aware of. But overall, it worked really well. That definitely went much quicker than if I were to use cotton balls and like pour the nail polish remover onto the cotton balls. So I'm very happy with that. So next they recommend going in with the nail buffer and buffing away your cuticles and just buffing all over your nail. Okay, so this is the part where I would typically run my hands under water to get rid of all of this dusty debris, but they actually say that is the worst thing that you can do before your manicure because basically your nail acts as a sponge and when you rinse your hands under water, all of the moisture is like stuck in your nail and then over time as that dries out, your nail, I guess, constricts down and that's what causes chipping. They explain it much better on their Instagram videos. But what they say to do instead is to go back in with the nail polish remover pot and just put your nails in to get off all of that dust and dry out your nails. Okay, now I'm going in with the nail primer and I'm just going to do one thin coat on every nail. Another tip that I learned from Olive and June is instead of shaking your nail polish back and forth, they recommend rolling it like this before you use the polish. And in this kind of sheer coat, you can see there are two little balls inside. So when you roll it back and forth, that's what mixes up the nail polish. 
So I'm very interested to see what this looks like on my nails. So let's go ahead and use this color. Like I said, I'm going to do a different color on each nail. Okay, so that's only one coat. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's really pretty. There's just a very subtle shimmer. So I'm excited to see what that looks like after a few more coats. But now let's go ahead and try the poppy. Okay, let's try putting the poppy on Fierce and Loving. This is very like squishy and comfortable in your hand. Okay, so right now I'm using my right hand, which is my dominant hand. So I should be pretty good at this, but let's see how it goes. Okay, not too bad for my first coat. I will say I feel like I've gotten pretty good at painting my nails with my dominant hand. So I don't know how much I would use this with my right hand, but let's see how it goes with my left hand. Okay, and that's what it looks like with my non-dominant hand on my thumb. I paint my nails so much that I feel like I've gotten pretty good at maneuvering the little bottles. So I don't really know how much I will use this, but if you are a beginner at doing your nails at home, this might be something that's useful to you. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with the rest of the colors. I don't really have a plan for how I'm going to do this. Um, so we'll see how it turns out. Okay, I'm all done painting and I ended up doing about four coats on each nail, which is a lot for me. I usually only do two or three, but I just felt like some of these colors were so light that they needed more coats. Um, it got a little chaotic there with all of the different colors and going back and forth. I usually do like one whole hand and then go on to the next hand, but yeah, that got kind of crazy, but I think it turned out really cute. Something I wanted to show was I did end up nicking this nail on the bottle here. And something I love about this nail polish is it's self leveling. So I, all I did is I went back in with this color and did another like thin coat right where it was a little indented and you can still tell a little bit, but it's very minor, but yeah, I just love this polish because it kind of just like fills in all the little crevices so I didn't have to completely start over on this nail. So I love that. But now I'm going to go in with the cleanup brush and the remover pot and just clean up some of the edges. Okay, 
Okay, now it's time for the stickers and they actually recommend that you do not apply these until the day after you paint your nails. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to do it now. So this package came with one sheet of stickers and the nice thing about this is because it's clear, you can just hold it up on your nails to see which stickers you want to use and how you want to apply them. So I'm just going to randomly place these on a few of my nails and all you do is roll this um, plastic piece and the sticker will start to peel off and then you can either peel it off with your nails or if you have tweezers you can use those too. Okay, I got a little sticker happy. Usually I just do one or a couple, but I ended up putting them on every nail and I love it. It's Valentine's Day, so we gotta be festive. But once you have the stickers on, you want to take the top coat and seal them onto your nails. Well, this is the final product. I absolutely love how they turned out. I'm so impressed with this little kit. I think it just makes the cutest and easiest at home perfect manicure. Okay, well that is it for this video. I am seriously so impressed with this kit. I highly recommend getting it and make sure that you follow them on Instagram because who knows, maybe they'll have another sale. Like I said, I was able to get the hand serum for free and then I think I got the dry drops and the primer on sale too. I can't remember. They had tons of promos going when I got this. Um, but yeah, make sure that you follow them. Watch all of their videos because they have the best tips. And let me know if you end up getting this kit or if you get any of their other products. And I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel and I'll be back with another video very soon.